Hello, we're getting a sharp shot 21 here. It's been a couple days since I've been able to do a Tuesday video for you, and I apologize for that. I also apologize if the Jeep is exceptionally loud today. Uh, muffler fell off the other week, and I haven't had a chance to get it in the shop to, you know, fix that. That's coming. As soon as I can get it in the shop. Work has been nuts, because, yeah, I'm back at work. And on the subject of that today, Communication is a hard thing. It's not easy for any of us. It is especially something that I have had to work on uh, for a good chunk of my life. I, I have not always been the best communicator. I am still not always the best communicator. I do my best to be decent at it. I try to be good at it. But that falls apart sometimes. That being said, if I am trying, if I'm in something of a position of responsibility, I try to have my communication be as available as I can, and I try to be as available to my staff as I can be, and as communicative with my staff as I can be without being overwhelming. But if I'm running late, I will shoot a group text to the staff that I know are going to be there tomorrow, whose phone number, the day that I'm running late, whose phone numbers I have. Hey, running a few minutes late. Hey, won't be until X time and try to ballpark it. And then if I'm behind on that time, I'll update them. That's a skill that not everyone has. It's a skill that a lot of people in management and upper management need to start to develop. If you know you have staff who want to work, try to keep them in the loop. It isn't hard. It takes time. You may be working long hours as a manager or a supervisor or a department head or whatever your title is of responsibility. But, keep your staff in the loop. I try to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on. I don't always succeed. And I apologize for that. But, I make an effort and I make an attempt. And even if I don't have a Tuesday video, I try to have a Thursday. Again, I don't always succeed there either. Keep people in the loop as to what needs to happen, what needs going on. And if you can't be there, at least make sure that your next tier of staff know what the to-do list is. Because if they don't know what the to-do list is, they can't help you. that goes in the whole communication. It also goes in a preparedness bubble, too. If your staff is not prepared to know what's going on, or because you haven't told them what the plan is, they can't make sure that you succeed and that everyone succeeds together. There's another P that goes with preparedness, and that's procrastination. Try to get stuff done as far in advance as you possibly can. So that if and when, or when, not so much if, something goes horribly, horribly wrong, you have time to fix it. Do not leave stuff to the last minute for whatever business you're in or running or part of. Try to get as much stuff done early as you possibly can, because if you leave everything to the last minute, it's all going to go horribly wrong, and you're going to have no time to fix any of it. And that's going to leave you with egg on your face, and your business with egg on your face, or the business that you work for. Do not count on a soft opening. Do not count on a gentle opening. Get it all done as soon as possible. You 
you should not be doing some of the basic stuff the evening before you open. The evening before you open should be reserved for the fine details and the polishing. It should be set, it should be, if, if I can use a restaurant example, because that's the business I'm most familiar with at this point in my life. The evening before you open should be making sure the silverware is polished, plates are clean, the tables are dusted, and the ice machine is full. The evening before you open should not be for finalizing your menu, it should not be for setting your prices. That stuff should have been done weeks ago. Make sure it's done. Make sure it's done well in advance. If you're going to open a business, make sure you got your ducks in a row well before you open. Because the day you open, if you're scrambling around, something is going to roll through that door and hit you like a freight train. Just the way it is. That's karma. That's... Murphy's Law, that, whatever you want to call it, that happens. It sucks, but it happens. Make sure that it's the only thing that is on your plate when you open. If it is not the only thing on your plate when you open, then you are not going to be able to handle it. And that goes for your staff too. If you got staff when you open, make sure your staff are ready to go and aren't trying to fiddle with something other than what their job is on day one. That's my little mini rant. That's my piece of advice for anyone doing a business, anyone working in a business, anyone in a management position. Try to have your stuff ready to go and buttoned down. Have a plan of action. And stick to it. Hope you found this informative. You didn't necessarily have to like it, but I hope you do. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Sharps out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out, and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice. So hit the subscribe button on the channel and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.